Hi, Tony DeWitt here, Missouri appellate attorney and a guy who likes to make the law make sense on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about the Minnesota caucus gun of, of gun owners case involving Ramsey County and also uh, what might be done if a judge just refused to follow precedent. I'll have more on that in just a second. Before I get into any of the what happens when a judge acts badly, I think it's important to take note of the fact that this case, the one that we're discussing, the Minnesota Caucus of Gun Owners versus Ramsey County, it, um, it was a case brought by people who don't understand constitutional law very well. And when it was originally argued, it was argued back in March of 2022, before the Bruin decision came down. And basically at the time, uh, the, the rule was that you had to specify what level of scrutiny this, this uh, analysis needed to take place. In other words, when we're evaluating the rights under the Constitution, does the government get the benefit of rational basis review, meaning it just has to have a rational basis, intermediate scrutiny, which means a little closer look, or strict scrutiny, which means it has to be narrowly tailored to a government interest. Well, in this particular case, even assuming that there was that it was narrowly tailored to a government interest, the judge found that it was a legitimate exercise of governmental power to restrict guns at the state fair. Now, I don't agree with that. I think that's a bad decision, but it's not an unprincipled one under the law as it existed in March of 2022. But the argument went on in 2020 in March of 2022 the issue is that the order was not released until August of 2022, and when it was, Bruin had been decided, and the judge failed to modify the opinion to take Bruin into account. Now, I don't know whether or not they'll file a motion for reconsideration on that issue or not, but if they did not, then they can appeal it, and if they do file a motion for reconsideration, I suspect the judge will fix that error, because it is an error. You can see the error right here where it shows strict scrutiny requires the challenge law to be justified. That's wrong. It's now informed by the history and text of the Constitution and the Second Amendment. So this is an error, but I don't believe it is an intentional error by the court. Now, what happens when a judge does something that is just, he just decides to ignore precedent? In that situation, he can be disciplined even if he's a federal judge, but the discipline is much harder as a federal judge than as a state court judge. Again, for the record, I don't think this is a case of the judge just ignoring the law. I think it's a just a failure on his part to uh, take into account the change in the law before he issued his opinion. But let's talk about what happens when a judge goes off the reservation. In that situation where he refuses to follow precedent, there are a number of things that litigants can do, which most notably, which is appeal. And um, I think it will probably affect someone's um, likely ascent up to the District Court of Appeal, the Circuit Court of Appeals, and higher courts in the future if they have a string of decisions that are uh, overturned as the District Court judge. But uh, in terms of actually disciplining them, pulling them off the bench, doing anything to them that uh, harms their salary or anything like that, you can't do it. Article 3 of the Constitution says that the judges are appointed for, law, for life and their salary shall not be diminished during their term in office. So as a result of that, you can't really, you can't really discipline a judge other than remove him from the bench. And the traditional way of doing that is by... Uh, impeachment. To do that, you have to get a majority of the House of Representatives to write articles of impeachment and pass them. And then you have to get the Senate, two-thirds of the Senate, to convict the judge of some kind of dereliction of duty. And if that happens, then there's a good chance they can be removed from office. 
But in the federal court system, that is very, very rare, and it usually only happens in situations where judges themselves have been caught and convicted of crimes. Uh, Alcee Hastings was, I think, the last federal judge that was uh, impeached, and that's been probably 30 years ago. So you understand what I mean when I say it's pretty rare. Now, each individual state usually has a judicial discipline commission, and that judicial discipline commission will decide whether or not a judge has gone off the reservation or in any way um, violated his judicial oath. So I hope that helps explain uh, what the situation is and how things uh, go in a judicial um, discipline situation. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please go over here and subscribe to our channel and tap on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we release a video on this channel. Like, share, subscribe, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.